Alright, welcome everybody. We're going to be playing some Vintage Cube, because Vintage Cube is back! Uh, this time it is an elimination draft, meaning that whatever we draft, we don't have to play against. So, what do we take? Some good storm cards here. Fixing, Batter Skull. Uh, kind of want to take Mind's Desire. <laughs> um, let's see if we can, like, do storm in this cube. It might be kind of fun. Um, I really don't know what to pick here. I think Hazaret probably is the best, but I'm going to try Mind's Desire. We'll see if we can do something silly. Also, my apologies if this is a much shorter video than usual, because it is an elimination draft. Time Twister. Uh, Time Twister's pretty good, so I've heard. Same with Dark Petition, but uh, this is actual Power 9, so we're going to take Power 9. Okay. Uh, Ancestral Vision seems kind of fun. Botanical Sanctum. Be fixing that's potentially on color for our deck. Um, hmm. What do we want to take? Control Magic is just good. Um, I feel like I'd rather speculate on the fixing. I don't know that we want to be Ancestral Visioning in this deck. I'll take it. We'll see what happens. Draws a card, and exile a card, exiles a creature, make a token that's a copy. Okay. Uh, there's Thing in the Ice. <laughs> uh, kind of like Oracle of Moldaya here. <clears throat> Nothing else uh, really jumps out at me in this pack. We could take Thing in the Ice, but like, I don't know if that's what we want to be doing. Okay, so in this pack we have Soccer Tribe Elder. We could do like Blue Green Ramp into like Mind's Desire. Woodfall Primus also good, but big and green and dumb. Because like Ramp synergizes with Time Twister and Ancestral Vision as well. I'm gonna take the Soccer Tribe Elder. Memory Jar, Manamorphos. Um, this is another draw seven. Gaia's Cradle, no dorks. I think we take Manamorphos. Memory Jar is just so strong, mm -hmm. though. We're gonna take Manamorphos. Ooh, Past in Flames. High Tide. <laughs> We're gonna take High Tide. 100% uh, here. There's a couple of cards in this pack that I wish we could take, like Regrowth, but uh, I'm fine with High Tide. And a Brawl, and a Strip Mine, and a Seething Song. That was good. Uh, I think Brawl is probably the highest power here. Kind of want to take Strip Mine, though. <sighs> but we're going to take Brawl. Brawl's just so strong when you're playing Storm stuff. There's a Shardless Agent. Uh, I think we got to take Cabal Ritual. Okay, Dark Petition seems pretty nice. Otherwise, Solemn is a pretty good card here. Take Dark Petition. Um... I think we'll take Harmonize, because Copperline Gorge doesn't really fix for us. I mean, it could. We're going to take Harmonize, though. Oh, gosh. Um, Progenitus into the side, question mark? Yeah, okay. 
big big question marks on that one um we can take tithe taker as a uh, protection would have taken knight but uh don't know if i want to be casting a knight in this deck Academy Ruins. Unfortunately, there will be no Memory Jar. And a Past in Flames. Past in Flames, potentially very good. Alright, pack two. What do we have? Brainstorm, Scalding Tarn, Vampiric Tutor. Um, very tempted to take Scalding Tarn, because we currently have no fixing, and that'll open up any shock land that we see that's blue or red. As potential fixing. Vampiric Tutor, very strong, but I don't know that that's what we want to be taking first. Brainstorm is not as good when you don't have fetches, so I'm going to take Scalding Tar. Even, even by itself, it technically does fix for us. Okay. So in this, there's Tendrils, there's a win condition, like an actual win condition, one that kills our opponent, not just cast big things. Um, I think I'm going to take that. Kind of sad to see Factor Fiction, a fetch land, and a Spell Pierce, and even Expansion Explosion go around, but something from that pack ought to wheel for us. Ooh, Underground Sea. Um, would like Mana Flare to wheel? as well as maybe a Palancron, but uh, I think we have to take Underground Sea, especially because we have a fetch land. Ooh, Time Spiral! And a Badlands! Awesome. Well, we're taking Time Spiral for sure, 100%. We're starting to get into the realm of just pick fixing really high, because anything that's good to cast in this deck will, uh, like, slot in as long as we have the fixing to support it. And it looks like Storm, I may have identified the open lane in Storm. Which would be pretty awesome if I have. Okay, Pyretic Ritual, Heartbeat of Spring. I think we take Heartbeat. Riftwing Cloudscape is like also somewhat good, same with Coercive Portal. But I think because we have the Time Spiral now, we definitely want a Heartbeat. We don't have a ton of untap effects yet, but... Okay. Wandering Fumarole is fixing. Um... Because we're not going to be, like, we're not going to be doing Shambling Vent stuff, probably. Yeah, I think, it, I think the pick is Wandering Fumarole here. Because we're not going to be super heavy into red like at all. In fact, we may not even run red. We might cut past in flames, depending on how the deck works out. Finks would be like the next best pickup. But I think we're going to take Fumarole. Okay, Marsh Flats also fetches Underground Sea. There's a Krasis, a Miscalculation, a Looter Eel Core... I think we take Marsh Flats, just to help fix for Underground Sea. Miscalculation also looking good. Fast Bond, Watery Grave, and Wooded Foothills. Well, if we take Fast Bond, that makes our two draw sevens way better. Like, way better. The problem is, one at least one of these is getting picked up, and probably both. Also sad to see Vencer in this pack. But, like, we have two draw sevens already. So, I think Fast Bond is the pick. Okay. So, let's see. There's Maze of Ith, Mutavault, O-Stone. I guess Incubation Druid is a thing, too. I have to remember that I'm also drafting to take cards away from my opponents, because this is an elimination draft. I think we take Oblivion Stone, just so other people don't have it, because there's not a lot in this pack I actually want. Okay, Godless Shrine can be fetched with Marsh Flats, but doesn't fix for us. Uh, I guess we could take Expansion Explosion, or Spell Pierce, maybe? 
Um. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take Spell Pierce. I'd like some protection. Okay, there's Kolagon's Command, which does a few different things. Or Palancron with the potential for untapping a bunch of lands. Could also take a Go for the Throat to put in the side. We'll take Palancron. It's the most storm directly win condition. We can take Temple Garden and then Marsh Flats can fetch green. Otherwise, we can take Big Dumb Eldrazi number five. Um, or Generic Eldrazi number five. Let's take Temple Garden. Uh, I think we'll take Pyretic Ritual. Jury's out on whether or not we play that or that. Nature's Claim, definitely a good card to have in the sideboard. This is really shaping up to be a good Storm deck, I think. We still have another pack to go through, and we already have 19 playable cards. Mind Twist. Here's all the Signets. Treasure Cruise, Moldrifter, Light Up the Stage. Ugh, why you make me choose? Okay. Treasure Cruise, potentially very powerful. Moldrifter, potentially very powerful. Signets, also good to have. And Mind Twist, we could just Mind Twist our opponent out very quickly as another way to win. Problem is, these are two good blue signets, and Demir Signet is on color. I think I have to take the Signet. I'd like to take Cruise or Twist, but I think I have to take this Signet. Flooded Strand, another blue fetch land. A Dark Confidant, but we do have some high drops in this deck. Yeah, I think we take the Flooded Strand, because that can fetch green off of Temple Garden or a blue source which could be Underground Sea. Yeah, we're going to take the Flooded Strand, like, 100%. Okay. Him to Turok. Bayou. Trop. Tropical Island. We definitely need Tropical Island. Because we need as many blue duels as possible. We need as many islands as possible for High Tide. Whew. This mana base is going to be sweet, that's for sure. Okay, Electromancer is very good. Bolus' Citadel would be absurd, but I don't know if we'll ever be able to get to triple black. Plus, this might come around. Fallen Shinobi is a card that we will probably never be able to cast. I think we just take Electromancer. It's so good. It's another Brawl. Channel. <laughs> and Nissa, Dark Slick. Um, we have no big Eldrazi, but Channel is like the best ritual ever. <sighs> Could take Repeal as a cantrip slash problem permanent answer. Could also take Dark Slick, which is just on color fixing, but not an island. Hmm. This is kind of tough. I'm going to take Dark Slick. Okay, Turnabout, really good. Time Warp, also pretty good. But I think we gotta take the Turnabout for the land untapping capability with High Tide. We could also take Narset just so our opponent does not have it. Because our opponent playing a Narset is a problem if we can't do anything about it. Turnabout Might Wheel? Hmm. I'm gonna take Narset. Okay, Scrubland. Does that change what our fetches can fetch for? That makes Flooded Strand fetch for black. Marsh Flats can get it. Um, is there anything else in this pack we'd rather have? I don't think so. This marginally improves our mana base, but that's fine. Metalworker, Arcanist, Masterminds Acquisition, Empty the Warrens. There's a Taiga, which would let Scalding Tarn fetch green. We could Oath of Druids out a Palancron or a 
one of our ramp creatures. Um, I think the pick is Empty the Warrens or Taiga. Empty the Warrens, while technically another win condition, is not a good one. I'll take I'll take the Taiga. Yeah. Oh, uh, that one was hard for my brain. Um, I think we take Maelstrom Pulse just to have an answer to problem permanence, but we may not even main deck that. Savannah, let's Flooded Strand fetch green. Let's Marsh Flats fetch green. Is better than Temple Garden. <laughs> we could take Yogmoth's Bargain, but I don't think we need it. I also don't really like Yogmoth's Bargain that much. Okay, Rakdos Signet. Technically an on color Signet. Wouldn't be bad with our uh, Time Twister plan. We do not have any sack artifacts, which makes Emery a lot worse. Yeah, let's take the Signet. I'm feeling a little more confident in Citadel. Yeah, we'll take Citadel. It'll be sweet if we cast it. Take Lodestone Golem. Do not want to play against it. Turnabout came all the way around, and finally a Terramander in the side. Okay. Lands out. We have 10 minutes for deck building. Probably not going to need all of it. So, we need to cut one card and run 16 land. We do not have that many creatures. We probably do not need... Let's see. If we cut Harmonize, we don't have double green requirement anywhere. Though our fixing is really good, so maybe we can just run Harmonize. Playing an additional land seems kind of bad when we have Fast Bond in the deck. But we need to cut our reliance on either red or green. Because we want to be mostly black and blue. Hmm. So let's, let's try cutting that. Let's see how this mana base works out. I run Dark Slick Shores instead of a Swamp. Actually, how do I want to do this? A few different people build their mana bases differently. An Underground Sea instead of an Island. Wandering Fumarole instead of a Mountain. Scalding Tarn instead of a Mountain. Marsh Flats can be instead of a Swamp. Taiga instead of a Forest. Savannah instead of a Forest. Tropical Island can be instead of an Island. Scrubland instead of a Swamp. Flooded Strand instead of an Island. We probably don't need this Temple Garden. So let's see, that gives us one, two, three, four, five greens? No, yeah, green sources. We have five green sources. Is that right? Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six green sources. Okay, that's pretty good. We have a ton of blue, which is good because we have high tide. How many black sources do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven black sources. Uh, I think I want another swamp over an island. Just to be sure. Well, maybe we don't need it because we have... Manamorphose, and really our black amounts to Cabal Ritual, Tendrils, Dark Petition, Bolus of Citadel, and we have two black signets. Yeah, that's probably fine, actually.
We might not need this mountain. Because we do have a taiga, which is fetchable. One, two, three cards that require red. We have one, two, three, four, five red sources. I'm going to cut the mountain in favor of a swamp. Actually, we don't have any basic forests. I'm going to say it with a, uh, a basic forest. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're going to submit deck like this. All right, here we go. We were the last one. We took the longest. I thought we were going to have to wait. Oh, we would love to play first. This hand seems kind of okay. Can't remember if Flooded Strand can get red, and I don't know it can't. Nor can Soccer Tribe Elder, because we took out the mountain. Let's mulligan. Okay, I think this hand is actually way better. We will keep... We're going to put back Pyretic Ritual, start Marsh Flats, fetch Underground Sea, and suspend Ancestral Visions. Pass the turn. Opponent starts Island. Ancestral Ticket Down. Okay, we draw an Island. So let's play an island and play a Demir Signet. Okay, put a Brainstorms. They might be looking for like a daze or something, though I can't imagine them winning if they daze this. Okay. Put a plays a Swamp. Ancestral Vision taken down. We draw a Cabal Ritual. Play Savannah. And do we try to run out a Narset? Two turns on Ancestral? Let's wait a turn. Okay, put a Trinket Mages. They get a Sensei's Divining Top. We get a Past in Flames. Okay, we're gonna play Narset. Minus Narset. Ooh, here's a tough decision. Next turn we get to draw three cards. Then we can Manamorphose, Cabal Ritual. I think we take Mind's Desire. We could take Spell Pierce for protection, but Mind's Desire gives us a way to win. We can't get high enough for lethal tendrils. Let's take Mind's Desire. Opponent will have to spend a turn attacking Narset to try and turn on, like, top, basically. They can manipulate their top deck, but they won't be able to draw with it. Okay, opponent attacks Narset, that's fine. She goes to one. Okay, we untap. Ancestral Vision coming off Suspend. Targeting ourself. We draw some lands. And a Flooded Strand. So let's... Play Flooded Strand, I guess. Pretty far off threshold. Yeah, I think we need to hit a draw seven. We could Mind's Desire for like three. Yeah, I think I think we're better off just wait. The longer we wait, the better this Mind's Desire is going to get. Okay, opponent Factor Fiction. 
They have Una's Prowler, Bazaar of Baghdad, Gear Hulk, and Jace Vryn's Prodigy. I definitely don't like the look of that Bazaar. So that's got to go in its own pile, I think. I think I'm fine with this split, actually. You can have Bazaar or you can have all of this. This is just so much churn and for free. Okay. They took the pile of four, that's fine. They're gonna play Jace. They're gonna show and tell. That's not good. We're gonna put a land onto the battlefield. They have a blight steel colossus. Oh joy! They're gonna attack in our set for two. You got it. So now we need to win the game. Uh, we'll get a tropical island. Untap, and we draw an island. So we'll play an island. Green. Let's see. Yeah, let's metamorphose first. We'll tap an island for this. And we want to add green and black. All right, that's not very useful. It's Cabal Ritual. So we're sitting at eight mana. We can go down to four and then Back up to five, that's not enough. We just have to Mind's Desire now. That's no fun. All right, Mind's Desire. Brawl, Wandering Fumarole, and Electromancer. Okay, well we have a past in flames, so we can throw one of our cost reducers under the bus and maybe try that again next turn. I don't like it. Coligon's command. Oh shoot, we're not going to get either of our, uh, discard a forest. We're not going to get either of our cost reducers, we got a block. If they have removal, we're just done. Jace, they're going to loot. They flip Jace. They can minus three and show and tell again. Mm. Or they can minus three and brainstorm and try and hit removal for the, the win this turn. I think if we draw a time spiral, we can actually win. Okay, they attack. We have to block. Get a 16 and 8 infect. They play top. Okay, they tick up Jace. And they play Knight's Whisper. Okay. We draw a Pyretic Ritual. That helps actually quite immensely, I think. So we play a Swamp. 
we pyretic ritual first. Then we passed in flames. Okay. Then we pyretic ritual. Do we cabal ritual or pyretic ritual first? I don't actually think it matters. Pyretic ritual. Cabal ritual. Manamorphose. Into blue green. Get time spiral. So we have the time spiral. We could mind desire, but uh, one sec. Hello? Ah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we have the time spiral. Because Mind's Desire is a storm count of six. But time spiral gives us all of our mana and... Oh, shoot. Is it better to do one or the other? So this would get us six cards that we could cast for free. Most of our rituals are gone, but we do have a draw seven. This refunds a bunch of mana and gives us seven cards, but puts these cards back. If we hit tendrils, we should just win, unless we hit a bunch of lands. I'm gonna cast Mind's Desire. Dark Petition's really good. Island Palancron. Bolus's Citadel. Oh, and you can cast these without paying their mana cost. Perfect. Soccer Tribe Elder. And Tendrils. All right, cool. I forgot that you could cast these without paying your mana cost. I've been playing too many bad cards that uh, don't say that. I don't know why this was a debate. Shouldn't have been. Okay. Cast Bolus' Citadel. Fetch with Soccer Tribe Elder. Get our last island out of that deck. Uh, yeah, we'll cast that with Bolus' Citadel. Let's go ahead and cast Dark Petition. Uh, we'll go and get anything. It doesn't really matter at this point. And then we Tendrils our opponent. Oh, I'm sorry if I had the win and really slow rolled that. I just really wanted to be sure, and you can never be too sure when you're playing Storm. Whew, staring down the barrel of a Blightsteel Colossus. And we were capable of storming out our opponent. So the question is, do we want Nature's Claim or like Tithe Taker? And I think Tithe Taker might actually deserve a spot, simply because Taxing our opponent casting spells on our turn could be very, very relevant. Like, if they tap out and we have a Tithe Taker, they can't force. Um, if that's the case and I'm bringing it in, what am I taking out for it? Might be Soccer Tribe Elder. We have one, two white sources in the deck. Technically, three. Yeah, I think it's Soccer Tribe Elder. Let's try it like this. A little extra protection. We might have wanted Nature's Claim instead. We'll see. Ooh, very tempting. We're on the draw and we can suspend an Ancestral Visions and play a Spell Pierce. I think I'm going to keep this. We're going to get greedy. We get even to our second land and we're in an amazing spot. Okay, opponent starts island. We draw time spiral, which is not a second land. We're going to fetch underground sea. Suspend ancestral. Pass the turn. Opponent going to play a swamp and a jace. Okay, ancestral ticking down land. 
That's a land. Play Taiga. We're going to play a Signet. Pass the turn. Well, this hand is working out just peachy. <laughs> okay. Opponent does have Colagon Command mana. They're going to play the top and spin it. They're going to loot. They discard a Swamp. Okay. Ancestral Vision ticking down. We draw Manamorphose. Sweet. Play Baral. Spell Pierce back up. Pass the turn. We just need to draw a couple of lands. Like across these next two turns. Uh, we'll protect Ancestral Vision slash Brawl when it comes down, and then we're just going to storm off and it's going to be glorious. Opponent spinning again. Okay, opponent goes looting. They loot away Una's Prowler. And they're going to pass. Sure. They're going to Knight's Whisper. I don't want to spell pierce that. They're going to main phase spin. It looks like they're digging really hard to try and find land. Drawing a card with the top. Just to hit that land. Sure. One more turn on Ancestral. We do draw Pyretic Ritual. So what is the storm count? One, two, three. We can get we can dark petition. Let's see. We could dark petition for like depending on how much mana we have, we could get past in flames. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, if Baral stays alive, next turn we are gonna go off. So opponent draws top. Kind of hoping that they decide to tap out here. That would just be glorious. Opponent's going to loot to put their fourth card in graveyard. It's a Kozilek. They shuffle everything back in. They play a land. Okay. Ancestral Vision coming off Suspend. We're going to draw some cards. They're going to remand Ancestral Vision. There's nothing we can do about that. So we're going to go ahead and let that resolve. Deceiver Exarch. Okay. This tells me that they've got like a Splinter Twin thing happening. Gonna tap down our red source. Nothing we can do about it on our upkeep. But this tells me that they're kind of desperate for interaction, so maybe we should just try and go off. So we can swamp. Oh shoot, I was under the impression we could Manamorphose this turn, but we cannot. Hmm. And I played a Swamp. Alright, we're going to resuspend Ancestral Visions. And pass turn and pray that Spell Pierce is enough. That they hopefully don't have Mountain Splinter Twin. They loot away Trinket Mage. They're going to Knight's Whisper. Play a planes of all things and top. They spin the top.
They draw with top. Interesting. Demonic Tutor. I think this is fine. I think we're just going to try and storm off next turn, because our opponent's totally tapped out. Okay, we untap. Ancestral ticks down. We draw fast bond. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. So we Pyretic Ritual. Then we... We Manamorphose. Into... Green-Blue, I think. We get a Turnabout. Which doesn't currently do anything. I think the play is to get fast bond. It's to cast our rituals, get fast bond down, then time spiral. Is there anything we want to petition for first? No. There's. I don't think there's anything we can petition for that will make a difference. Turnabout costs three and gives us three, so there's no reason not to cast it, I guess. Turn about ourself. Land. Untap. Cabal ritual. Fast bond. Time spiral. Oh my gosh. This is the worst time spiral ever. <laughs> Actually, it might be the best time spiral ever. What am I saying? Okay. It was a huge ritual. <laughs> so we pay blue and, I guess, green. All right. Um, now what do we do? We high tide. We can cast Bolus' Citadel, which might be, I think, is the play. Oh, this is just too strong. Storm count 11. Kill our opponent. <laughs> oh man, we found it! Oh, we found the victory line. Whew, that was a long turn. <laughs> but we got there. I'll see you guys around two. Two, and we would love to play first. Uh, I think this is a fair starter. We will keep playing against Deck Wizard. Start Taiga. You know, playing into the wasteland. On an overgrown tomb into an arbor elf. 
We'll play an island and a Demir Signet. We are kind of banking on drawing into some kind of draw spell. So maybe I shouldn't have kept this hand, but we'll see. Opponent going to play a Swamp. So it might be a Courser. Yabimaya Elder, okay. We get a Cabal Ritual, more mana, still no action. Play Electromancer. Another Swamp for our opponent. They're going to get in for two, we will not block. They're going to sack Yavimaya Elder. They get two forests, and they draw a card. Sylvan Karyatid. Okay, Ancestral Visions is a draw spell. It's just the slowest one we've got. So we will suspend it past the turn. No attacks. Opponent plays a forest. Into a Garrick. They kill Electroman. That's fine. Ancestral Vision ticking down. We hit Baral. Do we play Baral? Yes, yes we do. Play Brawl. Pass the turn. <clears throat> Opponent currently has no way to put more loyalty counters onto Garrick. Brawl can block wolves, disincentivizes the Arbor Elf to attack. Although it does give them targets for removal if they've got it. Opponent can cast something big and scary, and it looks like they are. It's a Karn. Gonna make us exile a card from our hand. I guess we'll exile Heartbeat of Spring or Ritual. I think it's gotta be Heartbeat. We get Time Twister, which I guess we should cast. We should High Tide and then Time Twister and just try and go off, because an active Karn and Garak is not going to be good for us. Okay. So we High Tide. Then we Cabal Ritual. Time Twister. Play Underground C. Tap for black. Get a blue. Oh shoot, hang on. Okay. Then we high tide. Blue. Black. Red. Electromancer. Turnabout. Land, untap, play Bolus's Citadel, oh gosh we're gonna have so much mana, pay a bunch of life for a Palancron, untap all our lands. Oh, we can just go infinite. We can we can literally Mind's Desire our entire deck. And I think we will do that. We're going to we're going to Mind's Desire for a lot. So 
Sorry, what is our storm count? Nine? Okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Gotta do this right. I think we're actually netting one mana every time we do this, which is pretty great, considering we don't have the full amount of lands to untap. So I'm going to do this one or two more times, then we're going to Mind's Desire. We'll go to storm count 15. Mind's Desire. 15 spells cast this turn. We should hit something, right? <laughs> sure. Let's do this. Island. Forest. Island. Tropical Island. Time Spiral. Okay, there we go. That's <laughs> really worried for a second. Fast Bond, Cabal Ritual, Spell Pierce, Soccer Tribe Elder, uh, Wandering Fumarol, Past in Flames. Uh, a number more spells. Okay, let's just get. Uh, oh, we, we have Tendrils. Cool. We'll just Tendrils. Same targets, same targets, same targets. La di da. This deck's sweet. Six cards left in library. Turn six, storm for 17 tendrils. <laughs> versus our opponent's deck. They have Planeswalkers, they're black and green. We might want Nature's Claim, or maybe a Maelstrom Pulse. I don't know. I don't know how they interrupt us, though, is the thing. Like, they could have Hand Hate. I'm going to hedge our bets, and we're going to bring in... We'll bring in a Maelstrom Pulse, and we'll do it over Soccer Tribe Elder. Just, just trying to be safe. Let's do that. Did our opponent keep? They did. This is very tempting with Time Twister, if we can get to a Time Twister. But I'm, I think I mulligan this. This is a lot better, actually. Put back Scrubland. Try it like this. I did just get rid of our second black source. Hopefully that's not the black source we needed. Probably should have gotten rid of Forest. The thought process was, though, because we had so many fetch lands, we might need that as a fetchable land. Okay, there's a Mind's Desire. We'll start Island. Opponent going to Vampiric Tutor at our end step for something. They play a forest. 
Thoughtseize. None of these particularly hurt that hard to have Thoughtseized. Like, having losing High Tide really sucks. But we can just draw 7 and put it back, potentially. So, let's... Let's stick to playing as many islands as we can. We'll play Trop and then Rakdos Signet. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Swamp and a Liliana of the Veil. Gonna make us discard. I think we discard Mind's Desire. Draw an island, play underground sea, pass the turn. Discard forest. Opponent discards dark ritual. Plays a Findhorn elves. Play an island. Pass the turn. Well, if we draw another untapped land, we can dark petition for Time Twister and Time Twist our way to a potential victory. That's an untapped land. So we Scalding Tarn, fetch with Scalding Tarn, we get Taiga, so black, black, one, two, three, Dark Petition with Spell Mastery, we'll have four mana, so we can do Time Twister. Problem is that refills our opponent's hand too. And they're gonna be able to ult this Liliana. <sighs> okay. Yeah, there's, there's nothing else we can do unfortunately. But this is a great hand, I think, even if they do Alt Lily. If they leave, like, we can have three pieces of mana. Which should be enough. They're just gonna make his discard. What do we discard here? I think Tendrils? Yeah, let's discard Tendrils. Do we just. Yeah, we discard Tendrils, that's fine. Opponent discards a Swamp. They Rexage our Rakdos Signet. That hurts, but it's not backbreaking. And they play a Dork and a Dork. Okay. We draw Cabal Ritual, which is perfect. We play a Forest. We Fast Bond. Manamorphose into blue green. Play a swamp. That's fine. So we ritual. Target ourself. Land, untap. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. I think we Minds Desire and attempt to Minds Desire into Time Spiral. If we hit two lands, we just continue going off. Or if we hit a Ritual, or a High Tide, or. But Time Spiral is a lot safer. 
let's just mine his desire. It potentially can just win the game on the spot, so. Okay, mine's, mine's desire for five. Maelstrom Pulse, that's really nice. Dark Petition, that's perfect. Bolus' Citadel, amazing. Savannah, all right. So that's Maelstrom Pulse Liliana. Dark Petition, while well, we have Spell Mastery. Um, and let's get, I guess, Pyretic Ritual will give us the mana. We could take High Tide, actually. Yeah, High Tide is better. What am I thinking? High Tide. Play Savannah. Lose a life. Bolus' Citadel. Scalding Tarn. Scrub Land. Heartbeat. Okay. Now... We... I believe we... Well, let's get, like, all the lands out of our deck, why don't we? Time Spiral. Put a whole bunch of stuff back in our deck. Untap our sources of varying mana. One more. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. I like an High Tide and a Dark Petition for our win. Tendrils our opponent for way more than is lethal. <laughs> yeah! That was awesome. I'll see you guys in round three. three we'd love to play first. This is not a good hand though. We're gonna mulligan. This one is much better. Uh, I think I'll keep this. Uh, we're gonna put back an island. Start island. Pass the turn. Opponent starts colonnade. We draw dark slick shores. Play savannah so we can get a soccer tribe elder down. Pass the turn. Opponent going to preordain. And both to the bottom. Okay. We draw a time spiral. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get in for one. I don't anticipate any hasty attacks from our opponent. And we know they don't have Spell Pierce because we do. So down goes Narset. I think post sideboard we definitely want uh, Tithe Taker in our deck somewhere at least. Force of Will. Exiling Vendillion Click. Sure. Opponent's got a Volcanic Island, and they're going to play Teferi. Alright, we're going to go ahead and sack and actually get an Island. This way if we draw High Tide we can Time Spiral or Mind's Desire or something nasty. Pyretic Ritual, we couldn't have gotten a Mountain anyway, so we're going to play a Underground Sea and pass. Opponent ticks up to fairy. Oh, ticks down to fairy, I think. 
We draw Bolus's Citadel, which will be amazing if we draw another black source. Opponent ticks up to Fairy, still only on three lands. That would let us cast Citadel. Um, I think we're going to wait and see if we can't get our opponent to tap out for something. Or if we could get like a high tide so that we could get through a mana leak and associated permission spells. Opponent's going to tap out for Jace. They're going to Fate Seal us. And they left it on top. Kind of hope it's a land, actually. It is. Um, we have to be careful about when we time spiral, because it'll give our opponent a force, most likely. Oops. Target ourself, land, untap. Play bowl with the Citadel. Yeah, let's do it. Brawl, heartbeat, do we time twister? We have five mana. One, two, three, four, five. We're one short of either of those, so yeah, I guess we time twister. Hopefully our opponent doesn't get force of will. <sighs> time spiral on top of our deck. That's actually really awesome. Um, all right, how do we do this? Tap for black. Cabal ritual. Cast time spiral. Two, three, four, five. Oh, should have tapped that. Hopefully that doesn't matter. It's not relevant. Okay, there is a spell pierce on top, which we definitely want to draw. So we manamorphose into red, blue. So we draw spell pierce. Oh, but we can't, we still can't counter because it's a fairy. Um, I don't know if there's anything we can do about that, actually. Turnabout. Target ourself. I should not have done the draw that I did. Land, untap. I guess we just have to pray that our opponent does not have force. So, Dark Petition. <laughs> of course they've got it. Ugh. Okay. They force us. So now I guess we just play out our hand as much as possible. Suspend. Yeah. Unfortunate. We kind of suspected something like that was going to happen. So opponent brainstorms, plays a land, <laughs> Mox Diamond activate Colonnade for the win. Oh, well, we suspected as much. Well, they didn't even need the Mox Diamond because they uh, we doubled their mana. Oh, sad face. Okay. So Tithe Taker and Maelstrom Pulse in, and Soccer Tribe Elder, and I suspect it should probably be Electromancer out. Try it like this. We could also bring in Oblivion Stone, but I don't know about that. We'll play first. Well, we do have a Maelstrom Pulse in case of an early to fairy by our opponent. We can get black, green, and blue. It's just this hand is kind of slow, and I think versus... Eh, we'll keep. Play Scalding Tarn, pass the turn. 
Opponent starts Colonnade. Let's go get our Underground C. We get a Spell Pierce, which is pretty good. Play Taiga, pass the turn, leave up Spell Pierce. Opponent plays Inspiring Vantage and Mox Sapphire. Spell Pierce to Fairy. If they have Force, they have to use it now. They do not. Okay, so Maelstrom Pulse gets a lot worse, but I anticipated our opponent having a Force there. So play an Island. Play Demir Signet. Pass the turn. Opponent plays an Island into Mind Sculptor. They're going to Fate Seal. And they put it on top. We draw Flooded Strand. So we play Flooded Strand. And then we Maelstrom Pulse Jace. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Plains into an Elspeth Knight Errant. Makes a dude. We're going to fetch Tropical Island. Get a Rakdos Signet. Okay, now we just need a draw seven. And for our opponent to not have force. Or we need to play Narset and then get a draw seven. That would be sweet. Okay. Elspeth making the soldier big, plays a land, gets in for four, go to 14. Yeah, if we could just like draw a uh, Narset, have it resolve, and then get a time twister, that'd be great. Okay, making the soldier fly, hit us down to 10. Gonna go get Scrubland. Time Twister. Well, let's Manamorphose. Green. Black. Into red. Green. Okay. Then we Cabal Ritual, unfortunately without Threshold. Play Bolus is Citadel. So then we can play Time Twister. Maintain priority. Turn about on the stack. Target ourself. Opponent wears Bolus Citadel. Okay. No! <laughs> uh, yeah, they target turn about. We time twister. We can still play an island, but we're dead. I should have just turn about it, but here I was thinking, since my opponent hadn't used any interaction yet this game, they must not have had any, because they were like all proactive. <sighs> Alright, you win, fair and square. <laughs> this is a short game three for such a long wait. We still won more than we entered with, which is good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this single elimination Vintage Cube Draft League. I know I had a lot of fun drafting Storm, and I hope you did too. If you enjoy this content and you want to see more, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're so inclined. You can also follow me on Twitch at the same username. I hope I see you guys in the next one. Bye!